How's it going, YouTube? This is Silky speaking, also known as Clock Knight 12342. I hope you guys are well. Sorry for not being here earlier or sooner. I just want to let you guys know that my mom, um, she got out of surgery well. She's fine. Um, it's about seven days now since she's been out of surgery, like post-op, so to speak. She's going to the doctor tomorrow to um, have like a physical and have like further recommendations on what she can do and what she cannot do, such as exercise, driving, etc. Even though I do, I do most of the driving for her anyway, but still, she's got to get back to her normal life like us all. And um, God willing, she should be okay. I was really scared for her. I was, I can't, I just can't imagine how scared I was for her, but with the blessings and help of God, Allah, and everyone else's prayers, Alhamdulillah, praise God, she's got out, she's gotten out just fine. And I'm very happy for that. Mm, where it comes to me, I'm, it was like seven days, and I just could not mm, do my pro do my diet properly etc I mean I did not really I did not really overeat so to speak but still it wasn't the way I should have done it naturally the band is not going to allow me to overeat because if I try to eat like what a full piece of pita, of pita bread or roti I'll just vomit it up so that's not even in the that's not even in the question thank god the band has a lot of uses I was not able to properly exercise because we had guests coming in and out of the house and people just being so irritating in such a way like like if you're exercising they'll just stop you and say you know you should do this or you should do that and I'd be like excuse me I've been doing this for quite a while I don't need your help etc. Sorry to be bitchy but I just hate it when people just don't mind their own business. I mean I'm not telling them to get on the machine so why should they tell me? <sighs> But other than that, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. I just started exercising like roughly four days ago. I um, don't do sprints for the meantime because I've gotten weak from not doing them. So I'm trying to build back up my build back my energy, and then God willing, inshallah, I will do sprints. Um, I'm also doing my elliptical. It's manual, not electric, and my health rider. Because I think the body needs a little bit of a change. And anyhow, these exercises, although less intensity as compared to running on the treadmill, in the end, they do help me to run better. Um, they say you need to amp up your exercises, and I'm trying to do that. And inshallah, furthering, furthering it, and can only hope things will get better. Inshallah, with patience. I keep actually. An interesting topic, patience. For my Christmas gift, I wish Santa Claus to send me patience. Because I am getting so frustrated. I really am, I'm frustrated. For one thing, although I'm in Wonderland technically, so to speak, but sometimes it could be in the 100, like 190 something, and then a few days later it'll be 200, and 190 something, 200 something, 190 something, 200 something etc etc and it gets so frustrating and I'm like when is there going to be a time where I'm only going to be in the 100s I don't want to be in the 200s anymore it's just as it's, it's, it's frustrating as fuck but I keep saying have patience be patient silky it's just a matter of time you have to be patient you don't want to be like you what you were before I'm a scale freak. I just can't stop looking at it. So once again, I took the scale out of my bathroom and placed it in the trunk of my car. And hopefully, God willing, inshallah, it will stay there. Because, oh, it's driving me insane. So, oh God, I can only pray for more patience, more tolerance. Because trying to lose weight can't, or um, pardon me, not trying to lose weight, trying to burn and lose fat because weight is just a unit. We don't really want to lose weight because if we lost all our weight, we wouldn't be, be able we wouldn't be able to move around. When it comes to losing fat, fat, it takes a lot of time and patience, sweat, blood, and tears. 
and I'm praying and working at it and only can hope that it gets better with time. Because let's face it, I need a lot of patience because I lack patience. And I feel like it's getting weaker. Sometimes it gets stronger, other times it just falters. But I am proud of myself though. In the times of where I feel really at my all time low, I try to think instead of how far I have to go, I try to think of how far I have come. And that think about, well, in the old days before the lap band, we would just do a regimen and fall off. Do a regimen, fall off. Do a regimen, fall off, etc. And then for a couple of months, we wouldn't do anything and just stuff our face and then start a new regimen and it would be a vicious cycle. Yo-yo dieting, it just wouldn't stop. But now, it's my fourth month, my fourth month of this uh, regimen, and alhamdulillah, God be praised, I am doing well. And I haven't really fallen off it, so to speak. Fallen off means, in my, in my eyes, that you just stop doing everything. You stop eating properly, you stop exercising properly, you stop taking your minerals, vitamins, etc. I haven't done that. I've still stuck to the program and I've still kept the the candle of hope alive and burning bright in my heart. And God willing, inshallah, it will never extinguish. Sometimes I feel like I'm a candle in the wind in, the, in, in some senses. But hopefully, I know it will get better and it will take time. Sometimes I feel frustrated in a way like, oh, what if I don't lose enough weight before 2014 in my graduation? What if I don't look good? What if I don't, what if I don't look good in my dress, etc. I try to tell myself that, Silky, it's not just for two years itself. You have the rest of your life to cut and burn fat and to get more healthy. Dwell on the positive, cut out the negative. All I want is patience because, let's face it, it's the best gift you can get. Tolerance. Just to be able to nod your head and say, okay, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready, body. Whenever you're ready. Because it's not an exact science. It's not an exact science that you put food in the body and it just goes out like that. And your weight just goes down. I mean, sometimes you can do everything picture perfect and it's still the scale still won't show it but if your clothes show it if your face shows it if your body shows it in other ways I mean if you can fit better in your seat if you can cross your legs properly you know you're doing something right if your rings are loose I mean my rings have gotten loose I had to have them tightened you know you're doing something right I mean I've had at least eight people that haven't seen me in months say to me Oh, Silky, you lost weight, you look good, etc., etc. And another thing, another thing I'd like to point out, something that I did not realize until now, is that you might be on a diet regime or a, health, a healthy um, diet, etc., etc., whether with surgery or without surgery. But while several months pass and you're doing a good job, sometimes you wonder, you wonder to yourself that, why isn't anyone praising me? Why isn't anyone noticing or congratulating me, even though there is a difference in my clothing, etc., and in my step, etc.? Well, first of all, you have to remember you're doing this um, fat loss, this changing your eating habits for yourself. You're not doing it for anybody else. You're just doing it for yourself. Note that. And second of all, it's perfectly natural to want to be praised. It's perfectly natural, but there may be certain reasons as to why people are not noticing. Number one, some of the people that you may hang with, observe them. Are they the type of people to really notice if someone loses or gains weight? Are they really superficial, even though it's not a superficial topic, it's not, but are they really superficial in a way? Do they really notice these type of things? Number two. Weight loss has always been a sensitive topic to talk about, particularly for us girls and women. Sometimes people don't want to say, oh, it looks like you lost weight, because sometimes people might take it offensive. 
As strange as though it may seem, sometimes people may get irritated. Like, I don't see any, you might be like, some people, I noticed that when I was younger, for example, and I felt like, at that time, as a teenager, I thought that my body was, was, was fine. I had no problems with it. But when someone said, oh, you look like you're losing weight, it bothered me because I'm like, I don't find anything wrong with my body, so what makes you think I need to lose weight? Some people might think in that way, because I know I did. That's why sometimes people may not always say, oh, you look like you've lost weight. But they might say it in other ways. They might say, oh, you're looking good, or oh, you look great in that outfit, etc. I mean, I know some people, when, I, um, when they were coming to visit uh, my mom, I opened the front door to let them in, and they were all like, oh, Silky, is that you? You look wonderful, etc. And even though my mom was co-op cooperating from her, um, um, not cooperating, um, getting better from her um, surgery, and I totally wasn't dressed up in anything fancy, of course, the, those particular people had not seen me in many months, so that is probably why they noticed the change more drastically than my mom or myself. So try to understand that people may not actually come out and tell you because they might feel a little bit intimidated or frightened to because let's face it, weight loss is a very delicate topic. And another thing, one last thing about it, is that sometimes people may lose weight not because they are trying to, but maybe because they can't help it. There was a lady who had lupus and she lost 30 pounds from it and when people would say, you look like you're losing weight, it just didn't make her feel good because of the illness and the nature of it and she didn't want to talk about it. Um, another lady, she, um, she lost a lot of weight and when she went back to college, people were complimenting her on it. But the thing is that she was upset by it because her mother had passed away during the summer vacations. And due to the stress, she couldn't eat, and et cetera, et cetera. And, then, and there it goes. Sometimes people may not always notice. I mean, I'm sorry. Sometimes people may not always come out and say it due to fear or intimidation or other, the other reasons I've just stated. But at the end of the day, if you feel satisfied with yourself, rock it. And that's all. God willing, inshallah ta'ala, I will update, make another update video as soon as I can. And I hope to see you guys soon. Shalom.